If you want to get a good score, then you cannot leave programming. And to do programming, you need to go for conceptually. Because this is the question pattern, but you can see this question asked on 2021 and this question asked in 2019. But the pattern of the question and actually the body of the question is same. You can see that while loop everything is same. Just they change something here. Here they change here counter but here they did directly return. And they change the option here. Just by changing the option they frame the question repetitively. So this is a repeated pattern of this type of operation where you need to do the bitwise and shift operator how to do how to solve this type of question that's why you need to watch the complete video and must subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to get this type of video in detail after watching let me know in the comment section what you are feeling so see that here i will solve this question and after that definitely you can solve this question by yourself so see that how it will be going on before solving a question, what is the approach? You have to understand the approach of solving. Approach of solving the question is understand the question. Means what is going on in each and every line. If each and every line is clear how the execution is going on, then it will be more easy to execute it. So here it is a normal function. Here the counter value is 0. I, here is a while loop going on. This while loop is going on till this. And this while loop will be going on till positive number means whenever you are getting zero it will come out from here and this is sending a return. So what is going on in the while loop it is going on in this while loop that is counter equals to counter equals to counter plus n and 1. This is called bitwise AND operation. Bitwise AND operation means you need to change this number in binary and 1 will be also binary. Now you have to do the bitwise AND operation that is the logical AND operation. Means when these both are 1 then only you will get 1 otherwise it will be 0. And next line what is going on in the next line this is actually called the shift operator. And this is the shift right operator. How it is working? It is also working on binary operation. Like that if I am taking a number 1000. It is what? This is 8. And it is right shift by 1 bit. This 1 means it is right shift 1 bit. Means I am shifting this bit here. This bit will be shifted here, this bit will be shifted here, this will be shifted here and here will be 0 and this 0 will be discarded. So what is this number? Now this number is actually 0, 1, 0, 0 means it is actually 4. So what is going on? When we are doing right shift 1 bit then any number will be divided by 2. And in this context remember one thing if I am doing left shift 1 bit then the number will be multiplied by 2 because next time your question will be multiplied means left shift operator also so you will be confused that's why remember it now see that what is going on here so definitely in this line it will be n equals to n divided by 2 now how to solve here this one this line what is the meaning of this line you can see here is double equals to Means it is working as a if condition. Means if counter value equals to equals to 1 then return true. That is 1. Then it will return 1. Otherwise means else it will return false. That is 0. So here you can see in the option these are given 1, 0, 1, 0. That's why. Now when I will get the counter value 1 and when I will get the counter value 0 that is actually our target. If I can understand when the counter value is 1 and when the counter value is 0 means your problem is solved. This is the thing what you need to do. Now we will solve it. How to solve it? For solving 
take any value first of all you can see that what are given in option in option it is given to power of 2 odd even or the binary representation all are one or uh, any one means any number one so i am taking a number that is seven i am taking a number seven so n equals to seven if i send here what will be happen here so i have written this code means this is the way of solving any program that's why i want to show you how you can solve that go to a online educator online um, compiler search online compiler write down the program and each and every line try to put the printf so that you can understand what is going on because this program i will explain every program you need someone to explain it's not good rather than that if you are doing it by yourself then it will be more good but i am explaining it from the next time you can try so see what will be going on here i send here n equals to 7 right so that's why you can see from the print tape only this is the output actually whatever output is showing of the program that is given here now when i send the n equals to 7 what is the binary representation binary representation of 7 is 1 1 1 right so here i am doing counter equals to counter plus so counter value is what counter value is here it is given that is 0 you can see the counter value initially 0 so it will be 0 plus i am doing the and operation n is 1 1 1 with 1 that is 0 0 1 so it will be what 1 1 is 1 1 0 0 it is 0 means it is 1 so you will get here 0 plus 1 that is 1 so now your counter is updated to 1 that's why in this line whenever i have done the print tape you will get that counter equals to 1 for 7 you are getting counter equals to 1 now you will do n equals to n by 2 n by 2 means what 7 by 2 if you are dividing 7 divide by 2 it is 3 and here it is 6 and after that 1 will be remainder as it is the integer your answer will be 3 and that's why now n value is 3 because it will be again going to this while loop so while loop again i am doing printing here so next time n value is 3 now so 3 means what 3 means it is 0 1 1 just we did the right shift see that it is also right shift because this one bit will be discarded after that this one one it will be 0 so 3 whenever i am doing the operation 3 with 1 and operation so 0 0 1 again what i will get 1 0 0 i will get again again 1 so last time counter value was 1 1 plus 1 now you will get 2 so now counter value you got here 2 done now next time next time what will be the value again 2 will be divided by 2 that is 1 so 2 is divided by 2 means 1 n is 1 now now again the bitwise operation i have to do so 0 0 1 that is 1 it will be and operation with again 0 0 1 so you will get here 0 0 1 only last value of counter was 1 right here we have updated with 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 2 that was last value was 2 now this will be 2 plus 1 that is 3 so that's why you got the counter value equals to 3 after that again last one a 1 will be divided by 2 whenever we are doing 1 divided by 2 means it will be ultimately 0 by 2 is dividing by 1 this is 0 so here you will get remainder 1 but the answer will be 0 so means n is greater than 0 no this is false this is coming out from the loop whenever it is coming out from the loop what is the counter value counter value is 3 now last value of counter is 3 and this condition what is that condition the condition is checking here if counter value equals to equals to 1 then it will give you 1 otherwise 0 so this condition will be false now because i got 3 so here whenever it is coming out it is returning actually 0 so where it is return i am getting return here because i call from here so my return output is here 0 
so i got output 0 means from this program you can understand when i put the input 7 then i got output 0 right so is it a odd number of even number it is a odd number now you will think that for odd number then i am getting uh, 0 means for even number i will get 1 no understand this very carefully it will be not why see that whenever i am taking another number even number 12 i am telling you with 12 if i am getting 12 then actually you see 12 also 0 then after that 6 will be 0 but counter is here it is counter the 0 next it is n equals to 3 then it will be 1 then n equals to 1 that will be 2 your output is 2 why it is happening because see why it is happening 12 means how to represent 12 1 2 4 8 so it is 1 1 0 0 that is 12 so first time whenever you are doing and operation with 1 this will be 0 0 0 1 you will get here 1 1 0 is 0 0 0 0 so that time counter value is 0 that's why for 12 counter value will be 0 because 0 plus 0 you will get 0 for 12 you will get 0 next time you will get 6 so for 6 what will be done here for 6 means 6 is what 1 1 0 that is 6 0 0 1 if you are multiplying it will be again 0 so that's why now again 0 plus 0 will be 0 for 6 also you got 0 now for 3 whenever you are getting 3 3 means what 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 that is 3 so it will be 0 0 1 if it is 3 0 0 1 will be 1 now 0 0 now you will get here 1 so now 1 will be added with 0 now you are getting here 1 so that's why for 3 counter value will be 1 now. What happened here very carefully see that. Actually this 1 is shifted. How it is shifted? 1 1 0 0. First time it is shifted like. But this is 0 will be discarded 1 1 0. Next time this is shifted like 0 1 1. Next time it will be shifted like how? 0 0 1 last it will be shifted like 0 0 0 you can see when i am getting this bit 0, 1 last bits are 1 then actually the and operation will give you 1 that's why for this 3 you got here 1 and again next time when you will get 1 for this 1 also you will get 0 0 1 0 0 1 you will get here 0 0 1 and that's why last counter value was 1 plus 1 then you will get 2. So it is very clear actually how many 1 was there? There was 2 1. And whenever this is shifted to the last bit, ultimately it will be shift to the last bit. Whenever it is shifting to last bit, then counter value is increasing. Means ultimately it is depending on the number of 1. How many number of 1 is there? that is actually according to that only you are getting the counter value see that is it or not so there was 2 1 that's why you got the counter value 2 now if i am doing here so i got the answer but i am explaining again what is going on here for the 8 you got here 1 for the 11 you will get if you are executing you will get here counter 3 because 11 there will be 3 1 for 12 you got this number and for 8 whenever we are doing 8 then you are getting again 1 why because 8 will be 1 0 0 0 for 1 0 0 0 you will get 1 ultimately if you think very carefully what will be going on 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 6 2 to the power 7 any number whatever in 2 to the power like if it is 1 then always your counter value will be 1 if this is 1 means it is the number 2 
then also you will get counter value 1. If this is 1 means your number is 4 then also you will get counter 1. If your number is 8 then also your counter value will be 1. If the number is 16 if the number is 16 then also your counter value is 1 because ultimately this 1 will be shifted when here then only you are doing the operation with AND operation then only you will get 1. Otherwise, every time you will get 0. Whatever number in 2 the power, 2 to the power, if you are doing half, 32 divided by 2, that will be 16, then 8, then 4, then 2, then 1. So, whenever I am getting 1, then only this value will be 1. Then only counter value will be updated to 1, otherwise not. How it is? See that. 1 0 0 0 if I am doing the operation with 0 0 0 1 it will be 0 0 0 0. So for 8 you are getting 0. For 4 what will be 4? 1 0 0. If I am doing 0 0 1 then also I will get 0. So for 4 also I will get 0. Then 2 1 0 that is 2. If I am doing operation that is also 0 for 2. Now for 1, 0, 1, whenever I am doing operation, then I will get 1. So here only I will get counter value as 1. Before that, everything will be 0. If it is in 2 to the power. And that's why whenever it is coming out, then counter value will be 1. So your answer will be, when the number is in 2 to the power, means n of the power of 2. n is the power of 2 then only you will get 1 otherwise you will get 0 i hope you understand it and that's why i am showing all the result for 12 you will get here 2 for 11 you will get counter 3 for 8 you will get 1 and for 7 you will get 3 means it's not depending on number of 1 or num odd number even number Ultimately, it is depending on 2 to the power because number of 1, how many number of 1 are there? That is actually it is counting by the counter. I hope it is clear to you. And now you can solve this question. I hope so. It's very easy. Same thing is going on here in this while loop and it is asking only the return B. Means in that question, it was counter. What is the counter? value you are checking what is the counter value out of number of 0 number of beats number of consecutive 1 and number of ones everyone can do the answer now what is what we are getting the value it is actually the counter value what we are counting here yes so here your answer will be number of one because every time we are counting the number of one so this is the question i hope you understand it and must execute the program by yourself how i told then your concept will be more clear so share this video to all of your friends and let me know in the comment section about your feedback thank you bye bye